the Maddie's World. This is Pastor Harun. Thank you very much for joining in today. We will continue our devotional series. Last video, we looked into what is hope according to the Word of God. Hope is a deep, settled confidence in the Lord that we have. That is hope. The world gives us a hope where there is doubt. But the Bible hope, the biblical hope, the hope in the Bible is without any doubt. It is trusting the God because its foundation is based upon the faith that we have in God. Amen. So as I said in the last video, we will continue this. And today we will look into the verses that we read. It said, we read from Psalm 27. And the verse one says, the Lord is my life and my salvation and my strength. So David three times uses the word my. It's about like having a personal relationship. It's having a personal relationship with, with God. This is why he's able to say, the Lord is my life. The Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my strong power or my strong hold. So first thing I would really encourage you. If you do not have this personal relationship with the Lord where you can say with bold confidence, the Lord is my life, my salvation, my stronghold, then brothers and sisters, I invite you today, accept Jesus Christ as your savior, redeemer. All you need to do is just ask him to come into your hearts and forgive you of all your sins. And that's it. And then you will have personal relationship with the Lord where you can call him that he is my Abba Father, he is my Redeemer, he is my God. That is what we can do when we have a personal relationship with the Lord. So David talks about three things over here. He says light, salvation and stronghold. Why does he say light? Light is as light, God remember, as light delivers his people from darkness. We were in the darkness of sin. We were in darkness, but the Lord with his light set us free. Amen. So the Lord as light can really lighten up your dark paths of your life right now. If there is place you do not know where to go or how to move forward, ask the Lord God and by his light, he will lighten up your paths and you will have Way, way to go. Secondly, as light, God guides us as well. This is what I was saying. He does not just lighten our path, but He also guides us. Light, for instance, the star was also a light when it showed in uh, Matthew chapter 2. It guided the wise men to come to Jesus. So He always guides us with the light as well. And remember, when he guides us, he will guide us through his word. His word is a light to us as well. According to Psalm 119, this is a famous, famous verse. When I say this, you will remember it as well. Psalm 119, 105. Can anybody remember? Okay, I will tell you. Your word is a lamp to my feet and... Anybody? Okay, and a light to my path. His word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. So his word is the light that we need when we feel that we are surrounded by darkness. So if you need light today, if you need Lord to guide you, just ask him and he will light up your ways. Amen. Secondly, David says, the Lord is my salvation. Salvation, remember, I will just say it again, comes from Jesus Christ. No other than Jesus can give you salvation, redemption. There is only salvation in Jesus Christ. As salvation, God sets his people free from condemnation. So we are not condemned when we are in Jesus Christ. When we have a personal relationship with him, when we are in him, we are not condemned, but we are set free by the work that he has done upon the cross. Amen. So, in John chapter 5, verse 24, I would like to read to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, 
Whoever hears my word and believes in believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Amen. So Jesus brings us from death to life because salvation is only found in him. And as salvation, God is the uh, secures our soul. In John 10, 28, it says, I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. So God secures our soul as salvation as well. Then in 1 Peter 1, 5, it says, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. So we are secured in the Lord Jesus Christ because he is our salvation. And remember the work that he has done on the cross is final. There's nothing else needed to be done. When we are in him, we have salvation. Amen. And in the last, he says he is our stronghold, our strong tower or our strength. As strength or stronghold, we can say that in God, we are guaranteed or we have the guarantee of success. We will succeed. We will be secure. We will be safe in the hands of the Lord. Uh, in Romans 8.37, it says, No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors, not just conquerors, more than conquerors through him who loved us. Who has loved us? Jesus has loved us and Jesus has overcome everything. This is why we are more than conquerors now. So my brothers and sisters, if you are looking for a safe place, if you're looking to be hiding in a stronghold, then Jesus is that place where we can go. His throne is our stronghold. And then remember, in 2 Corinthians 2.14 it says, But thanks to be God who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession and through us spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of Him everywhere. Remember Paul is saying, He just not leads us, but He leads us in triumphal procession. So in Jesus Christ, we have victory. In Jesus Christ, we have triumphed over everything. Death has been defeated. The grave has been defeated. And Jesus lives to give us victory. And then this is why in the book of Revelation, he came to John. He put his hands on him and he says, I was dead, but I'm alive now and forever I'm alive. And the keys of Hades is in my hands and nobody can snatch it from me. So this is a victor. This is a conqueror who has overcome everything. When we have Jesus in our life, we can say he is our stronghold. He is our life and he is our salvation. So in the last, I would like to read for you Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. It says, no weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed and you shall refute every tongue that arises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication from me, declares the Lord. So when the Lord is our stronghold and strong power, we can really be secure. We can feel secure. In the last, I would just give you one example. When we book binds, we, when we do binding of our, have a book binding, they put clips over here. So the papers will not fall down. That is a stronghold. So when your life is falling apart, just give it to Jesus and he will hold it strongly and your life will never fall apart again. My brothers and sisters, if you're looking for a life, it is Jesus. If you're looking for salvation, it is found in Jesus. If you're looking for a stronghold, a strong power, it is in Jesus. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, we just come into your presence right now. Lord, I pray people who are watching right now, if they are in search and in need of light to guide them, Lord, I pray that they, your light will shine, shine upon their lives, Lord. Lord, if they are in need of salvation and they're right now listening to this devotional, they are realizing that we need you. I pray, Lord, they would open their hearts and accept you, Jesus, as their Savior, Redeemer, 
and salvation given. Lord, and if somebody is feeling insecure, Lord, they do not know what to do. They are filled with fear. I pray, Lord, that all the fear will be gone away. And you who is our stronghold, our strength, they will put their trust and hope in you, Lord. Lord, I just pray blessings for everyone who's watching right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and ask. Amen. Thank you very much for watching this devotional video. Continue to watch because next video, I will share with you why we will keep our hope in Jesus. So, God bless you. Share this video with others. Share it with your friends, your family, and on your social media. So people will be blessed with the word of God. Thank you very much for watching. And if you are not subscribed yet, subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell and hit the like button if the Lord really blessed you. God bless you. Thank you very much for watching. And God bless you all.